wheel of time turns, and ages come and pass, leaving memories that become legend. Legend fades to myth, and even myth is long forgotten when the age that gave it birth comes again. Thus begins Robert Jordan's sprawling epic, The Wheel of Time. The first volume was published in 1990, and it launched a story that would fill 15 volumes with over 4 million words, all chronicling the story of Rand Althor and his friends as they fight to literally save the world. The Wheel of Time is, in every sense of the word, a massive epic, dealing with the events that inflict an entire continent and also a cast of hundreds. The Wheel of Time enchanted an entire generation of readers, drawing them into the detailed world building that Robert Jordan had done. It also influenced an entire generation of authors, most notably Brandon Sanderson, who was tasked with finishing the series after Robert Jordan's death. I first came to this series in 2007. And like everyone else, I was drawn in by the intricate world building and the massive, sprawling cast. It was a wonderful, exhilarating experience and an incredible ride all the way through the end. But, and, and there is a but, there was one thing that kept coming to attention as I was reading through the series. One small thing that would nag at me or bug me, and it just kept happening again and again and again. Bosoms. Bosoms, bosoms, bosoms. The man talked about bosoms all the time. It's just such a unique word, and yet it kept coming up again and again and again with respect to just about all of the lady characters in The Wheel of Time. With the television show currently in production, I thought it was the perfect time to step back and actually revisit The Wheel of Time, to see if it was actually as bad as I remember. Thus, I began a calling, a mission, a quest, if you will, to document all of the bosoms in The Wheel of Time. Literally, every single sentence where the author uses the word bosom just to see if it was as bad as I remember. Will I make it to the end of this quest? Will I persevere through the end of the series? Or will I end up being buried under an expanse of voluptuous lady bits? Stick around and find out as we begin our quest to document all of the bosoms in the Wheel of Time. kick things off by going through the eye of the world. Good news! There are actually zero bosoms in this entire book. There are none. Just none. Fantastic, right? This will be a quick video series, right? <laughs> just wait, just wait, just wait. With her hands spread over her bosom as if to hide the rounded flesh she exposed, eyes wide, half frightened and half ecstatic, she was nodding eagerly as though to someone face to face with her. Okay. Are you ready? She came the rest of the way in. We must be down in the courtyard soon. She wore a riding dress, too, in blue silk with red lover's knots on the bosom. Light help me, Varen. How I loved you for those sweet cakes and for your bosom to weep on. But I will do what I must do. <laughs> 
I said his character's name. Na- naive, na- naive, yeah, and I'm like, I read it. N y n a e v e. Oh goodness. Nynaeve. Well then, her name is Nynaeve. This would do better for a turn in some lord's park than a ride to Tolman Head, Nynaeve said dryly as Egwin helped her with the buttons of a gray silk with threaded of gold work and pearled flowers across the bosom and drowned the sleeves. But it may allow us to leave unnoticed. Two wore plain, dark gray dresses and wide silver collars and stood staring intently at those coming out of the waygate, each with another woman close behind them as if ready to speak into her ear. Two other women, standing a little apart, wore wide, divided skirts that came well short of their ankles, and panels embroidered with forked lightning bolts on their bosoms and skirts. Nine wiggled her toes in the boots. They were a little tight. The dress was tight too, across the bosom, and loose elsewhere. Nynaeve had to remove the bracelet in order for them to slide Elaine's grey-dyed dress down the leash and over Seda's head. It did not fit the woman well, being loose at the bosom and tight across the hips. But Nynaeve would have been as bad, and too short besides. She looked at her dress and laughed delightedly. Exactly her favorite shade of sky blue silk slashed with white in the skirt that changed to green as she frowned momentarily, sewn with rows of tiny pearls down the sleeves and across the bosom. I said I, the dark singer said. I do not mean to offend with my common song. She was covering the exposed part of her bosom, which was most of it, with her hands. Edwin tried reading, but neither the essays, nor the travels of Jane Farstrider, nor the humorous tales of Elora Elfin could hold her interest for more than a few pages. She fingered the stone tangrail through the bosom of her dress. None of them went barefoot, not even those in baggy breeches. The women's dresses were often longer, their necklines lower to bare shoulders and even bosom. The cloth was likely to be silk as wool. One of the tall, paired doors pushed open while he was trying to think of something to say, and a tall young woman of regal bearing entered the room, wearing a coronet with a golden hawk in flight above her brows. Her black hair swept to pair of shoulders, and her dress of the finest red silk left those shoulders bare, along with a considerable expanse of what Matt noted as an admirable bosom. I, I, I get it. I, I, I get it. He's checking someone out, but... But really? Really? so by her small, sad smile, with large brown eyes and long black hair hanging halfway down her waist. A tall woman, though Moraine admitted she did tend to judge such things by her own height, and rather too full bosom. <laughs> Good God. She had changed her dress, too. The new one was cut in the same fashion, with a high neck and narrow divided skirts, but it was dark green brocaded silk, and somehow it seemed to emphasize her bosom. 
exactly the woman for you. Is she not beautiful? Her back is straight, her limbs supple and strong, her lips like plump love apples, her hair is spun gold, her eyes blue sapphires, her skin is smoother than the finest silk, her bosom is fine and well-rounded. Luke spread his hands smoothly. If these people want white cloaks among them, let them have white cloaks. But you should be careful, young golden eyes. I know something of taking an enemy into your bosom. His blade goes in quicker when he's close. He has no right to expect it, she thought furiously. It was all his fault. She would not be there now, wearing a full dress and smiling like an idiot if not for him. I wear a coat and breeches, and that is that. Maybe I'll wear a dress once in a while, maybe, but not to make a man look at me. I'll wager he's staring at some Terran woman with half her bosom exposed right this minute. I can wear a dress like that. Let's see what he thinks when he sees me in this blue silk. I'll have a neckline down to... Really? Egwin will expect one of us, and it is my turn. She'll be worried if neither of us appears. Elaine fished the leather cord around her neck out of the bosom of her dress. <sighs> oh, that was over 20 bosoms. And that's not really a sentence I ever expected to use on YouTube. So we have gotten through the first four books in the Wheel of Time, and there is still a lot of series left to go. I hope that you've enjoyed this, even though this is different from irregular content. I have had an absolute blast making these videos. Uh, it's been so much fun trying just so many different things, so thank you all for uh, sitting through this with me. I've certainly enjoyed it. I do also think, though, that there are very deep conversations to be had when you lay out the text like this, because there are so many deep issues there about things like the male gaze, bodily autonomy, consent, even costuming. Uh, none of those conversations are as simple or straightforward as Wheel of Time good or Wheel of Time bad. So I hope that this also makes you think, because there's some deep issues there. If you did enjoy this content, please feel free to like, share, or subscribe. I've put a lot of time into this, so I would greatly appreciate the support. If you're really curious, feel free to let me know down in the comments what you think the total number of bosoms will be in the Wheel of Time. I'm very curious what people will think. And if you're curious for what the actual answer to that is, feel free to come back next week as I will continue this quest to go through every bosom in the Wheel of Time. So that's all I have for this week, everyone. I'm Mike, the Bowtie Rider. Be kind to yourselves, take care, and I'll see you all next week, catching you on the flip side of the wheel. Take care.